If you didn't know, I'm Mark Gullah with Remax Select Realty. Mark Gullah from Remax Select Realty here. We're back with Around Town with MG. Hey everyone, Mark Gullah with Remax Select Realty. Today we're at Zookie Sports Tavern in Falston. We're gonna talk with Jane, the owner. Zookie's is known for its wings, so we're gonna see what the craze is about, maybe sit on their beautiful patio where I love to watch sporting events. I'm really looking forward to this one, guys. Let's go. My mouth is watering. Jane. Hey Mark, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good I'm to good. see you. It's nice to see you as well. Thought we could sit down and um, talk about your business. I'm glad we're on the patio. It's my favorite spot to watch a game. Um, sure. Sound good? Yep, absolutely. Right. Okay guys, back at the patio, my favorite spot, like I said, with Jane Shearer. Um, Jane, thanks for having me today. You're Appreciate welcome. it. Um, so first, we actually have um, shout out the Palmers, Randy and Dorian. We have some uh, kin, uh, mutual friends. But first, um, first question I have for you is when was Zookie's established? How long have you been here? Have were you the original owner? Things like that. My family purchased Zookie's probably almost 50 years ago. Wow. Um, so I was a child. My mom and my stepdad bought it. Um, they ran it for years and years. Um, my mom took over by herself probably in the 80s. Um, and then when my mom passed away in 2001 is when I took over by myself. So we've been here a very long time. And um, so yeah, we're, we're coming up pretty soon to 50 years. Congratulations, that's a really big accomplishment. Um, I've been coming here my whole life, um, my whole family, I mean, everybody in the county and probably the state love your wings, so we keep coming back for that. But also the atmosphere for sporting events. Um, you guys have more TVs than anybody I know. Um, what kind of went into that with like really like pumping out like sporting events here? Um, well, you know, we just realized when my mom took over by herself um, that we wanted to do something that Keep everybody, sports bar. yeah, just be a sports bar. So we put TVs anywhere we could find a spot for it. And as we, um, as the TVs got smaller through the years, because uh, we started out with the big box ones, uh, as the TVs got smaller, we were able to put more and more TVs. So we're up to about 40 televisions right now. Um, we have DirecTV as our, our provider. So we have all of the uh, all of the games all of the time. That's what we say. We gotcha. have. A lot of the uh, packages, we have the, the um, Sunday ticket, which shows all of the NFL, NFL games, yeah. not just the Steelers. We right. welcome all of the fans here. We have yeah. a, lot of, a lot of people that are Cowboy fans or, or um, Detroit fans or, or whatever. So right. uh, we do that. We do a lot of college football. Very good. We have all those packages. We have the golf package. We have the Big Ten package. We have um, the NHL package. So yeah, we do we do a lot of uh, different sporting events down here. That's really something that separates Zookies from the rest of um, the local sports bars. Not that like I don't love the Steelers and the Penguins and everything, but like you know when you go to the, these Yinzer bars, every TV has you know the Pirates on it, and the Pirates are terrible. Like nobody really wants to watch the Pirates. Can we like watch some other things? And that's one thing I've noticed here. It's not just all you know, the same thing. So right. as a sports fan, I can appreciate that. And obviously a lot of other people do too. Right. So obviously sports are a big part of the, the business here, but the number one thing are your wings, no doubt about it. Right. And um, I'm getting pretty hungry. Matthew? <laughs> Thank you. Wow, those look beautiful. I'm guessing that's some type of ranch. That's our hot ranch. Hot ranch. Um, this looks look, looks like our sweet and tangy. Yes. This is our garlic parm. Garlic parm that's my is, favorite. Yeah, it's my favorite. It's a lot of people's favorite. And I think this one is our hottest one, which is Psycho. And 
it's too hot for me to eat. It's okay. too hot for a lot of people to eat. But we, when we do our sauces in house, um, when Patrick makes them, our hottest sauce is something that um, is tolerable. We don't want to make people <laughs> sick. We don't want to have to make you have to sign I have a, a story waiver. About that. And um, so we don't make any sauces that are so hot that people are going to hate the fact that they. Ate. Yeah, I never really understood the the purpose of that. Right. Fun story. I was in high school at not a wing place like that. Uh, a different wing place is what I'm trying to say. And um, my first track meet was the next day. And um, I was throwing up the whole day the following day. Missed my first track meet. I was bummed out. So I can appreciate that. Yes. So we were talking with Patrick in the back and you've got a good one with him. He takes a lot of pride in his job. So yes. you got to love anybody that really um, has a passion for their craft and he right. does. Um, but he was mentioning, you know, we. We talked about how the wing process was started. Connor got some shots of him um, making the sauces. All right, guys, we're back in the kitchen, which is probably the cleanest kitchen I've ever seen. Um, we're with Patrick. Patrick's been here a few years. Um, he's one of the kitchen managers. He's gonna take us through the process, not too in depth, top secret, but the wing making process. Um, like I said, Zookies is known for its wings. They've won awards for this in the past. So Patrick, if you could show us how the wings are made. Um, not too much, but if yeah, you could show the process. I'll let you in on a little bit of it here. Start off, get your tickets. All right. See what you need to get, two dozen. So if my first step, get what I need and grab these two baskets. Okay. Bring them on back towards the wing sink. Always make sure you got your gloves on, especially when going through with raw chicken. Next step is just empty the bag. What you get about five dozen per bag, give or take a few. We usually drop about a bag and a half. That gives us around seven dozen to get through most of the orders we have up there. Okay. Take your gloves off. Now your wings, are, are, do they come just in a dozen? Do you, can you get a half dozen? Uh, they come in a dozen, but you can get like a split dozen where six is one flavor and six is the other, but we don't do like just, gotcha. like you get one wing this flavor or that. So come on back over here. You always want to drop one basket first because you're gonna get a lot of splash back. And like if you, sometimes you drop two, that oil will come right over the top and it scares people on their first days usually, but yeah, nothing bad. Did that happen to you when you first started? Yes, but I, I had experience in other kitchens on cooking wings, but I've never cooked this many wings in like any other kitchen I've worked at. That's, this is usually my station on the weekends and like we, we pump more wings out of here than I've ever seen. If you had to guess like on the weekend, like on a Saturday night, like how many wings are you going through? Each case is close to 20 dozen, probably do about 11 or 12 cases easily or more. Super Bowl wise, like we'll almost do a whole uh, cooler full of wings. We'll be down to one case and that's, I forget, it's over like 300 some dozen or more. And wow, it's yeah, it, it's a lot of, a lot of wings. You always give them a nice good shake like that and you want to rack them right after the first minute or two. That way they don't get stuck in the baskets. And they take good about 15 minutes for the gotcha. crispy, you can get some, depending on the size, you get them about like 12 minutes. Yeah, that's yeah. What, one of my favorite things about um, Zookie's wings, are, they're crispy and not kind of like, you know, soft yeah, we, and... Yeah, we always give that extra couple minutes because we're known for the crispiness of our wings. Yeah. So we always give that extra couple. Makes the difference. And uh, we make the sauces fresh here. I'm the person who makes all the sauces. So every week, I usually come in Tuesday or Wednesday and we make, I do at least 80 sauces a week, like jugs do that and we have like all recipes we'll make up some new sauces here and there so you're every week you're making 80 different sauces every week well not 80 different sauces but 80 total i think we have yeah like 35 so like that so it's a lot of sauces and they're all uh made fresh well that's probably why you guys kind of separate yourself from the co yes. competition in the wing making department because oh, yeah. you're making everything here yeah it's all made here all made in house from scratch it's well it's starting to make sense why the wings are so good As far as like the wing count flavor, um, did he mention 40 or? There's there's like 35 depending on, um, you know, if we've added a special one or whatever, it kind of fluctuates. But yeah, we make all of our sauces in-house. Patrick That's does. That's what he said, yeah. He does, he does all the sauces, he knows all the recipes. So um, hopefully he never leaves us, so. <laughs> 
So I'm like a creature of habit in that like when I go to a restaurant and I like something, I just order the same thing over and over again. Yeah. So something I've noticed about Zookies is you guys are like always evolving, like making you, the inside nicer and then obviously the patio, that wasn't always a thing. When was this built and um, um, you have these garage doors so it's you know 24 seven out here. Yeah, we, um, we built the patio probably about 15, 16 years ago. Has it been uh, that long? Yeah, it has. I know, I, it seems like it was just yesterday, but yeah. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say like five. <laughs> but um, people love it out here, and then we added this little addition and put the fire pits out here, which the fire pits were a huge hit. I was um, out there this winter. Yeah, when we had it all closed in, uh, when we had to space out our tables and stuff, but the fire pits were a saving grace to keep it warm out here. So um, we know that people are looking for something new and exciting and uh, when they come in they always say hey you know like we just recently got new doors i've never had so many people say hey we love your new doors i'm like great and right. it brightens up the place so we're always trying to do something new and exciting for our customers uh, that really says a lot about your business and why you've been in business for 50 years always evolving just trying to make the customer happy and when you do that you'll be in business for another 50 years um, Talking about uh, new and exciting things, um, you were talking about some things that are happening behind the bar. Can we go check those out? Yep, absolutely. All right. Good to go? Uh, you nervous, Mark? No. Do I make you nervous? No. <laughs> All right, so we're uh, behind the bar, my favorite spot to be. Um, we're here with Aubrey. You've been at Zookie's for how long? Uh, eight years. Eight years, wow. Yeah. That's a great employee. So, Jane mentioned a drink with fire. Yes. So, um, we have how a do we make that? burnt orange Moscow mule, which we put sugar on the orange and then we blaze it up with this guy. Okay. <laughs> make it for you right now. Is this a new drink? Have you guys been had this for a while? Or? We've been making it for a few months here. We do our favor, well, orange liqueur. Gotcha. Vodka. Do a nice generous pour. A little bit of lime juice. And then ginger beer. Absolutely. Now, that is just the beginning. I'm gonna let you do this all, Mark. Oh God. <laughs> I'll pour the sugar first. All right, well thanks. Pour some sugar. All right, so we just sugar it up. And then you take this guy. Is this like something Zookie's known for? Or did you guys see this elsewhere? Is uh, well, this is just kind of one of thing. our things, yeah. It's cool. like the TV in the floor, you know. Right, this got to stand out a little drink. bit. Gotcha. Yes. So you turn this puppy on, now you're gonna pull that trigger. And it's gonna light up, so don't get scared. All right. Go ahead and pull it. Oh, it's not working, of course. Cut. Go ahead, try it again. No. Nope. Oh, there you go. You got it. You're gonna burn it like that. You're doing, see, you're doing perfect. Is that good? You're a natural. You're gonna burn it up a little bit more just till it gets like a, right before it would be burnt, burnt. There you go, perfect. You've got it, and then just twist that off. Yep. <laughs> you see this? You see this? So we got going. This is your souvenir. <laughs> All right, and then, so the plate is soft. obviously extremely hot. So we're gonna take a straw. Well done. Hang over a little bit there. And then we take a rosemary sprig. Boom. You've got your burnt orange Moscow mule. Try it. It's amazing. Try it out. So do I just... Yeah, just go for it. You can dip the orange in there, mm. make it a little bit sweeter. Mm-hmm. It's good. It's, it's good stuff. It's great. All right, so that's outstanding. I'm going to keep drinking that. Yes. Um, something Jane also mentioned was something with pouring a draft beer and put it, am I wrong on that? So we can our own beer. We can our own beer. Any beer that we offer, we can can. You can okay. take it home with you, give it as a gift, whatever you want to do. That's so cool. I can show you how to do that. 
I'm sure you yes. got. <laughs> it's called a growler. Do you have a preference? You want a bear to go? <laughs> oh, some cider. Um, let's do a. Uh, we got some ciders, IPA. This is a watermelon mint, strawberry lemonade. This is a sour. Strawberry Herbert. lemonade. I've never had that. Let's so do it. Let's try. Let's do it. All right. I'm gonna get made fun of for that, but it's, okay. it's all right. I drank too much of this last night. <laughs> Yeah, so you just fill it up like a regular, regular can. Glass, so is that whatever. 24 ounces? This is 32 ounces. 32. Mm -hmm. We serve our beers in pint glasses, and then we have a stadium mug that's 25 ounces, pint glass is 16, and then the crowlers are 32. Gotcha. If you want to hand me that little spoon there in the... Yep. So you pretty much use that to pour like half and half beers, or just to get the the foam off the top. Fill that puppy up to the brim. It's beautiful. Crowler. And then I'm gonna let you do this too, Mark, because I feel like you're All right. You're, you're doing okay. things here. So you just sit that in. October, that's my birth year. Really? I was October. meant to do this. You were meant to do Scorpio. this. Scorpio. Team I love Scorpio. It. I love it. I'm a Gemini, we get along. Okay, yeah, we're uh, compatible. So you just turn the switch on over there. And then you're gonna pull this handle in and hold it in for just a couple seconds. You just push it in, don't be afraid. Oh, okay. Yep, there you go. Now that's sealing the can, okay. and then you go ahead and let go of that one, and you go ahead and pull the number two one just like that, and you're good to go. You have can, and then you can just flip that switch off. You've canned your first beer, and then we'll make you a little label here. We got Blake's. How about this? Blake's. Strawberry, I'll write strawberry lemonade manly. You have nice handwriting. Thank you. I always take these out. Just wipe it down, get any residue off there. So cool. You guys have so many things that other it's, people don't do. Yeah, like. it's different. And it, it is like people are attracted to that. You yeah. know what I mean? This is it's definitely a great something gift cool. Too. Oh my gosh. We do these for Christmas. It's we beautiful. actually make a box with like a t-shirt, a gift card. Oh, they probably, yeah, they're probably yep. good for like a... Very cool. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Too much of the Moscow meal. <laughs> Go chug it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and here's your parting gift, boys. Sweet. Thank you. You're Appreciate welcome. it. Yeah, you want to hold that up Yeah. Show, show them what you did. That is outstanding, and it comes out really fast. <laughs> All right, guys, that's a wrap for Zookies, episode eight of Around Town with MG. Really enjoyed talking with Jane getting behind the bar with Aubrey and back in the kitchen with Patrick. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Looking forward to doing the next few. Looking forward to the next one. See you on the next one. Huh? I can't.